Climate change is real. The earth is warming. The numbers don't lie. But is global warming good? Huh? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and I'm not here to debate what's causing climate change, whether it's human activity, a part of a normal cycle, sunspots, or some other theory out there. I'm simply here to ask the question, is the current global warming good for people? For the purpose of this video, let's push aside the 13 million Americans that'd be displaced by rising sea levels and the hundreds of millions more around the world. Let's not focus on rising temperatures and desertification that make certain places inhospitable. And let's turn a blind eye to the increased number of extreme weather events like heat waves, floods, and bigger hurricanes that likely lead to more loss of life. Rather than the long list of impending disasters, let's look at the possible bright side of things. In the early days when climate change was first being discussed in the late 19th century, scientists were more worried about global cooling in the form of another ice age driving people from their homes. At this point in time, the year without a summer was still a recent memory. So Swedish scientist Svante Arrhenius concluded an ice age should be avoided and hypothesized a warmer planet would be good for humankind. And why not? A little warmer weather would be a welcome change in his home country of Sweden. His theory? A growing world population would need more food, and a warmer planet would open up more land to growing crops to feed everyone. He's not wrong in this aspect either. If temperatures warmed up, growing seasons in higher latitudes could become long enough to grow more crops to feed people. But let's bring it around to those earlier concerns. What Arrhenius failed to see was big changes in precipitation patterns that could disrupt where we currently farm, and longer droughts and hotter heat waves lead to desertification, leaving some places completely useless to farm. Savante Arrhenius couldn't have predicted all of the impacts associated with climate change, but that's mostly because he was on the lookout for the next ice age, which would have disastrous effects on his corner of the world. Thanks for watching this video, and big thanks to Stanley David Gedzelman's article in the January-February 2017 issue of Weatherwise for the inspiration. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe for more videos just like this one.